Hey, how's it going? We're talking about Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton versus Clementine, California and Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne. So all three of these fresh, clean, orange fragrances. I will say that the Atelier Colognes do smell more natural, but would I wear Clementine, California? Straight up, no. This is not a scent I would want to wear because this smells more like something I would keep in my bathroom in case a guest came over and just shat in there. You know, it smells more like bathroom air freshener to me. And the reason I associate it with that is because this is something that I have smelled in public restrooms before. Not exactly Clementine, California, not this fragrance, but the type of DNA. Yeah, yeah, you know, like when you're walking into a public restroom and of course you're like, I hope it doesn't smell like shit and it smells like oranges instead and you're like, oh, thank God, you know, but yeah, more of like a, a room filler type of scent, not really a fragrance I would want to wear. And I have tested this a few times to see if my opinion would change if I would start to like the scent and of course with projection and longevity, which this this got about like on my skin like four to five hours so it's it's okay it's it's inside that range but yeah like if i liked this fragrance because i live in warm weather you would see the juice probably be more than halfway at least because it's a small bottle but it looks like i haven't even touched it so like this is just a total pass for me don't really care for this fragrance now with orange sanguine that one that one I find more wearable than Clementine. I think that there's a little bit of this creaminess going on with the fragrance that makes it a little bit more wearable, a little bit more enjoyable, um, and not as bathroom cleaner-esque as Clementine, right? However, it's not a bad fragrance, but at the same time, it's not an amazing fragrance to me. It's just, it's okay. That's it. I would only ever recommend it if somebody was specifically asking me for like a straight up orange, fresh, clean fragrance. That's it. Then I would throw that in. But if someone was asking me for a fresh and clean scent, it is not, I would not be throwing orange sanguine out. But if you're thinking to yourself, wait, then why would you, like, why do you like Afternoon Swim more if all of them check the same sort of boxes, right? And it's because Afternoon Swim has this sort of sexiness that the other two are lacking, all right? With Afternoon Swim, it's fresh, clean, sexy. With the Atelier Colognes, it just stops at fresh and clean. You know, all three of these are great out of the shower, but this fragrance, I know people get irritated sometimes when I use words like feral to describe a scent, but it's true. Within minutes of me wearing this fragrance, the sample, like the first time I tested this on my skin, I remember we were driving. I was with my girlfriend, and we were driving on the freeway. Well, I was driving, um, but she sprayed this on me on the back of my hand or on my, my wrist, like my right wrist. And within the first five minutes, shit went down. It just like, I was in love with the smell, but then she was going nuts over how good the smell. She was like, that smells really sexy. And then it just, amazing shit happened, right? So this fragrance is totally pound town galore worthy to me. The other two, are not, they are not on the radar for me. Now, of course, everything is subjective. You might like those two scents and that is great for you, but Afternoon Swim has this sort of mass appeal as well that draws people in and actually, you know, like this is a fragrance that people have complimented me on. They've gone, they've gone out of their way to compliment me on this scent. When I've tested the other two, nobody really commented on it, but at the same time, even with me wearing it, I just, I also didn't really care too much about it. That doesn't mean I was walking around like irritated. No, I was still enjoying my day, but the fragrance was all right. And then I did have my sister smell it. Cause I was like, hey, like, what do you think of this? Cause you know, no one has said anything. And she smelled, I think it was Clementine. And she was like, yeah, that's all right. That's, it's, it's nice. But it, like, it was that kind of voice, you know? So I, I feel the same way about it. But afternoon swim, compliment, magnet all right i am definitely going to be rocking the shit out of this fragrance this summertime because first of all i love it right but it's also a fragrance i'm confident that not a lot of people around me or nobody else around me will be wearing because 
like I stated in my individual review of this video, it's not it's not a fragrance that you can easily find at your local mall and stuff like that. And most people out there, 99% of people out there are not going to be putting down $250, $280 for a fragrance, right? So the Louis Vuitton, Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton private blends are not are like, they're not fragrances a lot of people know about. They don't have that kind of popularity where a bunch of people out there know about Afternoon Swim and Ombre Nomad and things like that. So I still know that this is still somewhat of a hidden gem out there in the real world. In the fragrance community, it's a different story, but like I've always stated, there's a difference between the two. So like, yeah, this has gotten me like women just love this fragrance. Whenever I have it on, girls are always complimenting me on it. Um, and I love it on myself. I will say this is, all three of them are unisex, by the way. Clementine, California, if you want to wear them, straight up unisex. It doesn't matter who wears it. This one leans just a little bit more masculine, but it's still so, so unisex, right? So this is not a masculine, masculine fragrance by any means. But there it is. Quick comparison of them because some people were asking. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.